Welcome back to another episode of I Never Liked You with Mateo, Lane, and Nick Smith. And today we're answering your questions that you submitted. So, Nick, we got a bunch of questions. I you have to hit it. I cannot bend I will over watch this. you. You I have to hit bend it. bend over in this. Do it. Your arms are six foot four, too. You can't. I understand, but. Oh, God. So, you asked everybody. I asked all of you to submit questions, and boy, did you. We have. I mean, a lot. Okay. So we're just going to go through them. I'm going to read them, and we're going to give our, our best answer. Like a answers. rapid fire answer? Got it. I mean, you can give some explanation if it warrants it. Um, all right. What cuisine do you absolutely hate? Well, anything with seafood. I'm allergic to it. Fair. I would say... Indian. You just had it the other night with me and Nimesh. But Patel. I can't do spicy. I can't. But you enjoyed it. It was. We went to a Michelin star Indian restaurant the other night, and you had a great. You enjoyed yes, it. Yes, but my mouth was on fire. This girl is on fire. My mouth was on fire. Okay. Next question. Um. Okay. I love Indian food. What most annoys you about the other person? Almost everything. I was going to say, we Actually, need longer than 15 minutes for I, that. I was going to say, like, playing Fortnite with you is insufferable because there are just times where we need you. And then I look at your screen and you're like, we're all dying and you're somewhere else in a bush just sort of like recharging your sniper. And they're like, all yeah, right, I'll come I get help it. Anyways. Or I say, Nick, come this way, come this way. And I just see you going farther and farther. If you hate playing with me that much, don't play with me. That would be great. <laughs> what about you? Um, oh God, the list goes on. <laughs> um, no, I hate that you call me at the most inopportune times. Okay, the answer it was what most, not everything. That also pisses I me off. I would say for me, it's your food choices. Like we can't just like go to some place to eat. Like you're very sort of snobbish about food. Nick, you eat six things. And they're only at diners. Yeah, but sometimes if we're out or something, I just want to be like, let's just go to blah, blah, blah. And you're like, no. Or if we would go to a restaurant. Go I to blah, blah, blah. Your choices are the Olive Garden, Domino's. Yeah, well, sometimes or I Dunkin want Or Dunkin' Donuts. Those. Yeah. Will you and Mateo ever do a live podcast tour? Yeah, if, we, if it becomes popular enough, that'd be great. Yeah, if you guys keep watching and you want it. Write in the comments what city you want us to come to, and we'll consider it. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are your icks and red flags? Um, people that are rude to waiters or like servers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like if you like you, you're at a restaurant and they're being really nice to you, even it's like business. When I used to date people, all that, and then suddenly they're super rude to the server, and then now, now I'm like, oh. That's not a good sign. Mine would be people who don't have like spatial awareness. Yeah, that is annoying. Sometimes a lot of like, I notice couples walking down the streets and on the sidewalk and the New York sidewalks are so small and they're just sort of meandering like no right. one else is in the fucking city. Like, like if you don't know how to walk or like you, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a no for me. Got it. Um, any others? No. You can okay. just keep it in your hand because you're going to have to pick it up every single time. We're only 11. This is 11 minutes and 30 seconds left. We got a lot of questions to go. Do you all see how he treats me? Is it okay for friends to hook up with each other? Yeah. I think as long as you set boundaries beforehand, because if you're just friends who are hooking up and it's only that, then sure, why not? I don't know if it ever works out that way, but for I the, was three, say. the three weeks that you guys pretend that it's going to work that way, yeah, that's fine. But if one of you has ulterior intentions and are like, oh, I actually kind of like this person. Then they should do like our podcast. Set a timer, fuck, and then they have to leave. Exactly. Yeah. Um, stand mixer or air fryer? Stand mixer. An air fryer. I still don't see the purpose of an air fryer. I just, unless I live in Texas and I've got a gigantic kitchen and it can come out every blue moon, but not in New York when I make Brussels sprouts and then plan on making cookies, which I could have already made in my oven because Nick, you just wanted an easy bake oven. Okay. And what if I did? <laughs> Sue me. 
You imagine two hours you waited for one cupcake. To, it's I'm almost gonna, ready. I'm going to go with the air fryer because you can make more things. But you bake more than you do with the air fryer. You can bake in an air fryer, I think. I got to try it. What is the... <laughs> What is the worst outfit you have ever seen the other wear? Does now count? This is a great outfit. What are you talking about? <laughs> you hate my outfits more than I hate yours, I think. Yes. This one's not that bad. I mean, but you're not a fashion-y person. Thanks. And you wear like the same things. Mm -hmm. Most of your outfits though, aren't like something to hate. You're just like in t-shirt and pants. Mm -hmm. um, my least favorite outfit you've ever worn... I don't know. Maybe what you wore to your Carnegie show. You didn't like it? No, but again, you know how I, like, I would have worn. It was the most lies a minute. Taylor O'Rear told me to wear it. It was fun for me. I mean, it fits you, but that's what I mean. Like, it's just not what I would, and what I didn't wear for Carnegie. Yeah, I had, like, Liza Minnelli pants and, like, a sleeveless black shirt. I guess the look was kind of stupid, but I enjoyed it. But again, it's like pants and a t-shirt. So for you, it worked. But like, I would wear like a blouse or something. You would dress like Marie Antoinette. It's Carnegie. You would dress like Queen Elizabeth II. What's your least favorite outfit of mine? The backless draping hospital gown? That was pretty bad. I mean, a taxi wouldn't even pick us up because we looked so gay. I don't even know where that one is anymore, to be honest. Probably on a, a patient. It killed itself. Yeah. Um, advice you would give to your younger self. You're gay. Let's pretend we're on Drag Race. Mateo? Okay. Yes? Meet little Matthew. <laughs> what would you say Every to episode this little they always boy? Cry. Um, save your money because you're going to have to get hair transplants and your blonde hair is going to go soon. I used to have blonde hair. You used to have hair. Mm -hmm. I got more hair, by the way. You did. And a beard. You did. Okay. And it looks good. Look into well, the I camera. finally got to shave at my Target video. Everyone's like, your beard looks like shit. I'm like, I wasn't allowed to shave it yet. You have to wait three weeks. Um, okay, ask me. All right. Nick Smith. <laughs> what would you say to this little boy, Nick Smith? You are the star you think you are. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. You know, without the editing and music, it's really humiliating. And it's okay that you're a little boy practicing your softball pitch in the backyard. <laughs> Nick, you should be like, look, Dr the world's well, a cold and like, dark place. Look, a lot of fucked up shit's about to happen. <laughs> and you're not going to be prepared for it. And life's going to go on. Or it won't. No way to tell. No way to know. Okay, Nick. And you're gay. <laughs> but you already knew that. <laughs> um, okay. First impression of each other. I did not like you. I didn't like you. Why? Um, you were not very talkative. And then when you did talk, you yucked my yum. Well, nothing has changed about that. Well, I'm more talkative, but I still yuck your yum. Yeah. I was talking about Maria Callas, and Nick decided to speak up and say how much he didn't like Maria Callas. And that was your first chance of having a group of gay friends, which you'd not had. And off the bat, you were ruining your chance. I would just like to clarify, I wanted a group of great gay friends. That didn't mean you. <laughs> um, I did not like you at first. I just thought you were annoying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Turns out I was right, but <laughs> <laughs> nothing's changed. Here we are with a podcast. Um, the funniest experience we've had with each other. The Ashley Tisdale. That is. <laughs> Grinding coffee. I don't know. What is one of the hard... Something in Fortnite, probably with Liza Minnelli. Maybe. We've laughed a lot on Fortnite. Um... I'm trying to think... Honestly, the haunted house might be up there. Oh yeah. I mean, we. If you've not seen it, it's on YouTube. Nick and I went to a haunted house. That was an experience. One of the all hardest three of us with laughed. Chris. Chris was horrified. Nick was arguing with every single ghost, and I was just laughing. It was the whole a nightmare, time. literally. But that was the one of the hardest <laughs> we've ever laughed. Like Woody. Oh my god. 
I think that was probably the hardest we've ever laughed. Yeah. Um, let's see. Best relationship advice. Learn to communicate. Hearing each other. Not just listening. Hearing each other. Mm-hmm. Hear. You. I would say set expectations. Hmm? Like manage expectations. Got it. Manage expectations are different than setting them. Well, managing, setting them. You're not them. going into your general settings and then to expectations and then clicking things. You, you know what I mean. I didn't. Set expectations are make expectations and follow through with them. Managing your expectations means don't do what you just said. Well, manage expectations. That would be my best relationship advice. Um, are you aware of how many straight male friends you've gained in the last few years? I've, but I've been in stand up comedy. You've I've, had them longer I've had, than me. Yeah. I was going to like, my life is surround, like when I'm doing shows, it's surrounded by straight people. I mean, you know, queer people pop in and out, but it's not as common as it should be in comedy. But yeah, I'm, I have a lot of straight friends. Yeah, I mean, I mentioned it the other day while playing that I was like, I never would have guessed that I would have hang out with Donnie and Simmer and right. Corey and or like go visit them in Pittsburgh or um, favorite thing about each other. Um, it's hard to choose just one for me. I'm it's sure. hard to find one, Nick. Uh, I would say your. Honesty, I mean, you're very good at observing things and just being honest about it because you're always a cunt. There's no real like wiggle room to surprise anybody. Like it's just you, like if I ask for advice, I'm ex- I know what to expect. I've managed my expectations with responses from you, but I like that they're very honest. I would say your humor. Genuinely, there is almost no one funnier. Let's not say things we can't take back. You almost never laugh at anything I say. Well, you need I'll to try work and make for jokes it. I'm not going to just like this. willy-nilly laugh. But I'm laughing on the Certain inside. Certain things get you to laugh. The hardest person to get laugh in our crew is Jacob. Alfredo. No, Alfredo will laugh more than J- Jacob. And when Jacob does laugh, it's the most rewarding thing in the world. Because something tickles him and we're like, I don't know what really got to you. But his laugh is amazing. All right. These, because we're running out of time, we're just really rapid fire. Got it. Hottest Disney prince. Uh, prince Philip. Uh, Aladdin. Oh, Aladdin. You're right. Aladdin. Favorite musical. Uh, Funny Girl with Barbara Streisand. Wicked with Stephanie J. Block. Honestly, there's too many to name that are good. It's got to be Stephanie. Um, would you both do Drag Race? I mean, I would like to be a judge once on Drag Race. It doesn't seem kind like of anyone crazy that you gives a shit. But if I would, would I be on the show, sure. I would be horrible. At- if I did drag, I would. Yeah, I would want course. to do it. Um, how do you describe gay culture in one word? B. Arthur. Chaotic. Mm -hmm. Um, can the pod be more than 15 minutes? No. No. Deal with it. (laughs) Will you ever go to Olive Garden again? Yeah, probably for a video. I would go in 10 minutes if I could. (laughs) Least favorite home interior theme? Uh, the sliding um, barn door, doors. bar doors. I just don't understand. Barn doors. Let's let everyone in the room here. You take a shit. They're annoying to move out of the way. They, it's like they're, the, they're not even what a door is supposed to do. If your name's not Joseph and Mary and you didn't give birth in a barn, you don't need a barn door in your home. Yeah, I agree. Barn doors need to go. Wrap it up. What's your deepest, darkest secret? Uh, I would say hair plugs, but I've told everybody. And I would say hemorrhoids, but I've also told everybody. <laughs> so... Um, some of these are just not questions. Have we ever left New York City? Well, neither of us are from no, New York City. No, I've never City. left. I've stayed here. I tour. I'm in D.C. this weekend, but I'll be here. Um, who do you like better, Bob or Monet? Mm, neither. Patty. Um, what is each other's best impression of the other? Okay, I'll do mine. Hello, I'm Nick, and this is exactly how Nick sounds. And I'll do mine. Hello, I'm Mateo, and this is exactly how Mateo no, sounds. Can you do an impression of me? Can you do an impression of me? But you still have that in the back of your throat. So do you. No, you I don't. Sound ju- does he not I do sound not just sound like, like you. We Everyone both have, in the comments say. No, we, have a na- we both share a nasally accent, but we do not have the same this. You have like a, I'm Kermit the Frog. I think this is a good final question. Who is gayer? 
as I ask in my draped blouse. <laughs> I think it's subjectively me. <laughs> <laughs> You really manage no your one's better, no there. one Nagaya. <laughs> I would say you. Yeah, I can't pass for straight. I don't sound straight. I can't either. You look a little more straight than me, which is saying a lot which about is... you. <laughs> you know I can't bend over. <laughs> Thank you for submitting questions and thank you for watching and listening to another episode. Please leave a review, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, until next time.